Take the following code as example. I use the U tag to underline text with HTML and I could also use CSS text decoration to do the same. If we look closer, we can see that the underline is right under the text baseline. It is interrupted by letters that extends down like the letters P, G, here, and comma. With this, there is only so much I can manipulate. To change the underline color, I can use CSS text decoration color, and that's it. So developers often use border bottom to underline text. This works great for single line text, but it extends for the full tag width. So to make it work with multiple lines, we set display inline so it breaks with the line. The limitation with this is that the line is drawn far down the baseline and you might be able to get the desired results by manipulating the line height with CSS but on the other hand you can dash it, dot it on top of changing the color easily. Then again you can use the box shadow solution which you must use this inset flag option to make it appear under the text and similarly you must use display inline to make it break with the line. Akshaw gives the ability to position the underline right under the baseline and even set multiple underlines by alternating between the color you want and the background color. Now that you can bring it right under the baseline, you can see that it crosses the P and G letters. So it does not behave like the normal underline. And to mimic that behavior, we can use a text shadow with color matching the background. And like that, we get the effect we want. So box shadow is great, but you can't dash or dot the line. Therefore, we land on the background linear gradient solution. I set background linear gradient 90 degree or left to right with at least two color stops, position X0 and Y105 amps. Y will depend on your font. Make it 100% width and two pixels tall and only repeat it on the X axis. Similarly, we must set display inline for it to work with multiple lines. I'll adjust the position a little and bring over the tag shadows effect. I can add different color stops and even add more than two color stops as well. If I want to create a dash effect, I'll change the width of it and then make my first color take a percentage of that width and use transparent as the other color. I can adjust the percentage and width to give it a dot effect as well. I can also add more underline just by adding more linear gradient and adjust it for my liking. And the limitation of this depends on your imagination. Please like, share, and subscribe for more quick tips like this. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.